Technology. A few years ago, when I was still on the Drake campus, I remember a poster stuck on the back of the lunchroom next to the microwaves. It said, reputation is like money, easy to lose but harder to earn. So we've all been told about the importance of our reputation. But when we lose our reputation, who do we actually lose it to? On the surface level, it seems like I'm hurting my group members if I don't complete my part of the project. But this is an external result. I think the person most affected by my unfulfilled promises is actually me. In my own life, I was especially unconfident in athletics. While I was in elementary school, I played soccer as part of the AYSO team. One practice, our coach was testing our ability to rebound a flying ball on our heads. So with my green jersey tucked into my shorts that were pulled all the way up to my belly button, we lined up side by side, and our coach lobbed the ball one by one for us to bounce back to him. And when the coach over overhands the ball my turn, I froze in place, and that ball hit me hard on the nose. I furiously dripped blood out of my nose and dripped tears that swelled out of my eyes. And likewise, the rest of my soccer career was not so hot. In the four years that I played, I managed to score a total of two goals. Okay, two goals! And one of the goals I scored against my own team. <laughs> so after these catastrophes, I did not have the will to improve from those embarrassing moments. So when I quit, that sealed my reputation in my own mind as being a terrible athlete. So because I believed that I was too weak for any contact sport, I thought perhaps I could shine by being a fast runner. And so in seventh grade, I joined the cross-country team at Randolph. And what a rough ride that was. <laughs> at the start of Monte Sano practice, I recall being so slow that I couldn't even keep up with the team on the mile warm-up. But that was not the end of it. After those rough time trials and the steep hills at the end of practice, the team would head down to this campus for strength and conditioning with Coach Gantz. And for my first time in that weight room, it was the most grueling exercise I had ever done. It took less than 30 seconds of planks during core workouts for me to just feel absolutely dead. And combined with another 45 minutes of actual workouts, I vividly remember going home so sore that I could barely move my arms, my legs, my shoulders, and chest for four days, even skipping the next team practice entirely. By this point, my reputation in my own mind was, I am physically weak. I had very little to change this identity. And that is a revelation in my own life. I've always thought that reputation was important because it's how other people view you. But that's stupid because you can't control what other people think. Instead, a reputation is important because it determines your own identity. I believe that the most powerful force in the universe is our identity, because our identity is our internal governor. I learned from a podcast by Ed Milet, who's an entrepreneur and performance coach, that one of his greatest beliefs is that as our internal governor, our actions will neither fall below nor surpass our beliefs about our self-worth. So in other words, we will, do, we will get exactly what we think we deserve. But if this is remotely true, then how can we improve our reputation? Now, I believe the answer to this is by making small wins. Let's take a quick trip back to the spring semester two years ago. As part of the Wizard of Oz musical, my role was a tin man. And in this story, this man fell in love with a munchkin maiden, but his acts became cursed, which led to drastic amputations of his arms, legs, and torso. So he goes to the tinsmith who welded him these prosthetic limbs and chest with tin. But he never received a heart, so the tinman limited himself by believing that he could never love. 
So on, a wiz on the journey to find the supposed wizard, Dorothy's dog Toto walked underneath the curtains to find the real human behind the scenes. And then the, way the wizard caved in, giving Tin Man an external physical heart. But then how did the Tin Man also realize he had a heart in here? It was by the small winds, and for the Tin Man, that was a small act of love. He dedicated his time to helping Dorothy and Scarecrow and Lion complete their goal. And he did it consistently throughout the journey. Even though they encountered obstacles, such as a fireball throwing wizard on a flying broom, he reaffirmed his unwavering support. And by the end, he built a reputation, an identity, that proudly said, I am a loving soul. It was not until my sophomore year when I realized that I needed to build my own reputation with myself. I remember during that same spring semester, I walked into the gym during a freeze. The weight room was smelling of fresh sweat, and I asked Coach Gaunt to train me. And at first, I felt a little embarrassed since I was the weakest one in that room. And just for context, I was at a point where I couldn't add 10 pounds to any exercise, like bench or squat or deadlifts. And heck, I couldn't even move a bar above my head. So Coach Ron took the training slow. Each workout was a very small bump from the previous week, but that ensured that every workout had a small win. So on that silver barbell, those two and a half pound plates on each side turn into the fives, turn into the tens, turn into those black 25s, and so it finally grew to those menacing 45s. And with days upon days, and weeks upon weeks, and months upon months of these small wins, there is an inevitability to reaching your goals. And while you may see external results, the ultimate reward is an internal mindset change. There is a paradigm shift from an old limiting belief to a new liberating one. And your frame will slowly solidify and so your identity is unshakable. So, freshman, you might be the one who believes in your own weakness because you just scored a goal against your own team. <laughs> Sophomores, you might be the one who was too intimidated by Coach Gunn to go to his workouts. Juniors, you might be undergoing a slow period of growth in your viewpoint of the world. And seniors, you might be someone who has finally built and reinforced a reputation with yourself. But no matter where you are, start with building a new identity. And reinforce this identity with small wins. And get that small win every single time. <laughs> you will build a reputation with yourself that says, I will never stop. And you will find peace in this mindset knowing that for whatever you're trying to accomplish, it will no longer be a matter of if I can get it. Because of this inevitability, it is simply a matter of when. Thank you. <laughs>